Since you're done with my parents' nursing care, let's get a divorce. Excuse me? Like that, my husband suddenly declares for a divorce. I'm in love with a younger and a pretty girl compared to you. Plus, she's pregnant with my child. He confessed his affair without any sign of apology, and even smirked and told me that he got his mistress pregnant. We have three children, and there's no way that we can get a divorce so easily. But my son started saying things like this in front of me. I'd rather have young mom than an old hag like you, mom. My name is Lydia. I am a 42-year-old housewife. My husband and I have been married for 17 years. We currently have three kids. Our oldest son, Alex, is 16. Our second son, Sean, is 14. And our oldest daughter, Winnie, is just 10. We are a family of five, living a busy but happy life together every day. Then we went to live with my in-laws for about four or five years because they were getting sick, and I was also taking care of them. It was really hard to multitask between raising the kids, doing all the housework, and taking care of my in-laws. Originally, I worked at a company, but when it came to taking care of my parents-in-law, I could not continue working at the office, so I became a full-time housewife and stayed home to care for them. It was my first time taking care of my in-laws, so there were many things I had to get used to. But my in-laws were always grateful and kind to me. And my kids, whom I could not take much time to care for because I was always with my in-laws, have grown up to be really good kids. The days passed by so quickly since I was so busy every day, and a few years passed by. I tried my best to take care of my in-laws, but perhaps age always wins. And unfortunately, my parents-in-law's health deteriorated rapidly, and my father-in-law passed away just last year. After that, I focused on taking care of my mother-in-law, Rita, but her health deteriorated further due to the grief of losing her husband. Despite my best efforts to care for her, she needed to be hospitalized. Grandma, are you going to die? My daughter came to visit her at the hospital with me, looking really sad. My daughter loved her grandma and was always with her. My mother-in-law also loved my daughter very much. I used to draw with her and play cat's cradle with her. So that's why, to my daughter, her grandma had become a very important person in her life. I went to visit my mother-in-law every day with my daughter. I brought her a change of clothes and other necessary things every time. My sons were too busy with club activities to visit her, but they still came to visit her once or twice a month and talked happily with her. My mother-in-law was unfortunately not doing well and usually looked as if she was having a really difficult time, but getting to see her grandchildren seemed to cheer her up. Lydia, thank you so much for everything. And no, no. The kids hope to be able to live at home with you again, Rita, so let's do our best to fight your illness. Yes, you're right. I mustn't be discouraged. I must get out of the hospital so that I can live with my grandchildren as soon as possible. Rita laughed as she said this. I wanted to support her as much as I could. Rita had been really kind to me since my husband and I got married, and she never bullied me as her daughter-in-law. I even longed to be like her if I ever become a mother-in-law in the future. After that, I went to visit Rita every day. Oh, thank you so much, Lydia. I'm sorry I put you under such a burden because I'm just so busy with my work. No, it's okay. My husband, Joel, works overtime every day and often has to work on Saturdays and days off. He is currently in a responsible position as a section chief and has to manage his colleagues, so it's no wonder that he has to do that. And since I am a full-time housewife, my income is zero, so my husband should earn enough for the family. In addition to our usual living expenses, we also have to pay the school fees for our three kids and Rita's hospital expenses. That is why I need my husband to work a lot as the main provider for the family. 
so I was completely prepared to take care of everything back at home. But then unfortunately, Rita's condition worsened and eventually passed away. I was overwhelmed with grief at the death of my mother-in-law, whom I loved so much. My children also shed tears and grieved over her death. My husband, seeing us like that, felt he had to do the opposite and be strong. He promptly proceeded with the funeral arrangements and so on, and we were able to hold my mother-in-law's funeral without any major issues. After the funeral, I felt as if there was a huge hole in my heart. Even though I no longer needed to visit my mother-in-law, I found myself trying to pack her clothes in my bag and bring a change of clothes with me. This shows how much time I spent my time with Rita and how much she had become a part of my life. I gradually regained my strength after grieving for a while and by the time I fully regained my strength, I felt much calmer. The children also became accustomed to the life without their grandmother. After praying for their grandparents every day, they left for school on their own. I began to get my mind in order and thought it was time to start working again. Now that taking care of my in-laws were over, I don't have to be home during the day, and the kids have school, so it wouldn't be a problem if I come home by evening after work. From now on, I'll have to pay for my second son and eldest daughter's high school tuition and my eldest son's college tuition. If that's the case, it would be better to find a new job as soon as possible. With this in mind, I decided to talk to my husband about it over dinner. But then, my husband made a shocking statement that surprised me. At that time, we were all sitting around the table eating our usual dinner. I was having a conversation with the children and trying to find the right moment to talk to my husband about getting a new job. Then, my husband suddenly says this. Since you're done with my parents' nursing care, let's get a divorce. Excuse me? The dining table froze in an instant. What did he just say? My husband said it so naturally that I wondered if I had misheard him. Did do you just say divorce? When I asked him that, he grinned and nodded saying, Yeah, that's right. Like that, my husband suddenly declares for a divorce. I couldn't catch up with what he was saying and I panicked. Oh, wait, it doesn't make any sense at all. Why do you want a divorce? We just said we would live happily as a family from now on, even for your parents. When I said that, my husband looked annoyed. I don't remember agreeing to that. I mean, since it's come down to this, I'll confess everything now. I'm in love with a girl much younger and much prettier than you. What? She's cute as an angel, and she's pregnant with my child. That's why I'm going to be with her. I can't believe this. He confessed his affair without any sign of apology, and even smirked and told me that he got his mistress pregnant. I was filled with anger, but I had to remain calm for the sake of our kids in front of me. Stop saying nonsense, and don't be irresponsible. We have three kids, and there is no way we can get a divorce so easily. You should put yourself in the children's shoes, hearing that their father is suddenly going to be with another young woman. You lack common sense. I tried to stay calm, but my anger got the better of me. I felt a surge of hatred with like no other toward my husband, who had publicly confessed about his affair and demanded for a divorce at a family dinner. As a mother, I tried to restrain myself, but I could not control all this anger boiling inside of me. But I have to take care of my children. You guys can be angry at your father too, okay? What your father is doing is something no humans should do. I tried to ease the children's shock as much as I could, and I tried to use my husband as a bad example. But my son said this in front of me. Dad, good job. You're the same age as mom, but you made a younger woman fall in love with you. Excuse me? I was surprised to hear Alex say such a thing. And then Sean says something that I had never expected him to say. I'd rather have a younger mom than an old hag like you, mom. I mean, it's only natural for a man to think so. 
N no way. I was at loss of words. And my husband is happy that his sons agree with him. You guys think so too, don't you? Wow, I'm glad they grew up to be sons who understand what I'm actually talking about. This was just too much for me. I told my daughter to go back to her room. As soon as she left the living room, I got angry with my sons and my husband. How dare you say that? I don't remember raising you both to approve of affairs. And you shouldn't be happy that your kids approve of it either. It didn't seem to bother them at all, even when I yelled at them. Mom, just give it up. Dad was just following his own desires. That's right. Now you think that it's better to end it with Dad now, don't you? Nice, that's it. Keep on going. I just want to break up with your mom and be with my new girlfriend. Well, there, there. Don't be too hasty, Dad. So, you've been home late for the past year or two because you've been seeing that cute girlfriend of yours all the time? Actually, that's correct. Your mom believed me without question when I told her that I was working late. My husband looked down on me as he says so. Now, wait a minute. So, you're saying you didn't even go visit your own mother, but instead met with your mistress? Well, yeah. I mean, it didn't matter much because you were there to visit her anyways, right? He's really unbelievable. This man was having an affair with a young woman while his own mother was suffering from an illness. Fine, I get it now. I can't be with a lousy scumbag like you anymore. Let's get a divorce. As I said this, my husband pulled out the divorce papers from the drawer as if he had been waiting for me. Thank you for understanding it so quickly. As I signed the divorce papers, I said, I'll make sure to get alimony, okay? To him. My husband shrugged his shoulders and laughed, saying, I'm not at all worried about that. I finished signing the divorce papers and immediately started packing my belongings. Are you leaving home, Mom? Yes, I am. Of course, you're coming with me. I told my daughter, who came to me looking worried, and she looked relieved. I'm glad. I didn't want to be separated from you, Mom. Me too, honey. I hugged her and told her to pack her things too. Then, Alex and Sean came to me. What is it? I was so disappointed by what my sons had said earlier. I thought they had grown up to be good kids, but I never thought they would say something like that. When I coldly asked them that, they closed the door to their room and apologized to me. Mom, I'm sorry. Huh? I would never have called you a hag or anything like that, and I can't forgive Dad either. Wh what do you mean? While I was being surprised, my sons explained the situation to me step by step. Actually, we knew about Dad and his affair. What? While you were visiting Grandma, I would come home at night after the club activities, and sometimes I would hear Dad being on the phone in his room. He was whispering, saying something flirty, and I thought for sure it wasn't you on the other end of the line, Mom. Oh, so that's how it was. Then, all of a sudden today, Dad confessed about his affair, so I was surprised. With that, the eldest boys handed me a voice recorder. Now that I've recorded the conversation we had earlier, I think this will be valid for when you file for alimony or something. I think you can get a pretty good amount of alimony because it's so horrible of Dad to force you to take care of his own mother while having an affair with another woman. What? B both of you were planning for this from the beginning? When I asked them that with surprise, they both smiled at me. Sean and I were planning to get on Dad's side so that he'd speak up about his affair. We will never forgive him for neglecting my grandma and betraying you, Mom. Let's fight with him. When my son said that to me, I felt my strength increase at once. Yes, you're right. Let's do that. Then I hired a lawyer and presented the evidence of the affair and also the evidence that Joel forced me to take care of his parents. Thanks to that, I was able to claim quite a bit of alimony from my husband. 
Hold on now. $60,000 of alimony? And $30,000 of alimony to my girlfriend as well? That's almost $100,000 if you add the two together. My husband was surprised to learn the amount of alimony that the lawyer had proposed. This is not the time to be surprised by your alimony, you know. You will also have to pay child support for all three of my children. My oldest son for four years, my second son for six years, and my oldest daughter for ten years. So, to put it simple, that's 20 years of child support in total. I think at lowest the total will most likely be more than $120,000. No, no way! So I have to pay you over $200,000 or something? Well, that's how much big of a problem you caused for the whole family. So of course, you'd have to pay that much at least. My husband was so surprised when he found out the amount. In addition, he also had to support his own child with his new girlfriend. If you fail to make even the slightest payment, I intend to demand that you pay them immediately until you do. My husband went completely pale, and he looked as if he was about to collapse. I then had my alimony paid in one lump sum by my husband and his girlfriend. And as for the child support, I have it transferred to me every month. Not only did my ex-husband lose all his savings at once, but he also has to pay a substantial amount of money every month, which makes life with his girlfriend poor, apparently. As a result, his girlfriend told him that this life was not what she expected and left him eventually. He is now living all alone while paying child support for my children and to the child he had with his mistress. Meanwhile, I have successfully found a new job and I am living a happy and joyful life with my very sweet and adorable children. I will continue to work hard as a mother to protect the lives of these precious children. Joel, who declared that he had an affair, tried to start a new life, but was betrayed by the children in the end, and it was so nice to see that. The children have grown up to be really good kids. I think the children will be even better off now that they have been able to cut ties with their lousy scumbag father. I know it must be hard for Lydia to raise three children as a single mother, but I wish her the best. I wish Lydia and her children all live a happy life from now on. Thanks for watching until the end. Please subscribe to our channel. See you in our next video.